Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you for joining us for another segment. In this segment, we're going to have a conversation with Greg Strobel. He's joining us here as CEO of HHA Exchange. It's the leading provider of home care management solutions for payers, providers, and state Medicaid agencies as well. He's going to talk about the growth and the demand for home care services as a result of the pandemic. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Greg. How are you? I'm doing great, Neil. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, Give our listeners a bit of your professional background and talk a bit about HHA Exchange as well, if you would. Sure, Neil. Um, You know, I've been in the healthcare, I'd say technology and services industry for over 30 years. Uh, I've been leading HHA Exchange for about eight years. And HHA Exchange is a home care software platform that home care agencies use Uh, every day uh, to support their caregivers in the field. They go into homes and they leave the homes and our system tracks all that time and helps create payroll for the caregivers and so forth. So it's it's an enterprise class uh, system for home care agencies. And then also it's used by the payers uh, that the agencies build their claims to. When it comes to home health aides, are they in the same boat as pretty much everyone else when it comes to the demand for their services uh, as a result of the pandemic? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I think as most people know, you know, we're in a country where uh, we have an aging population. So the demand for home care services is uh, increasing at an exponential rate in this country. People are, are aging out and uh, people recognize that they'd like to stay in their homes as long as they possibly can rather than go into institutionalized uh, settings, uh, nursing homes and the like. So the demand for home care services is huge and the demand uh, for caregivers to work in that field is is huge. There's there's somewhat somewhat of a shortage of those individuals, but I would say that, um, yeah, this is a fast growing industry with a lot of uh, fast growing demand for these types of services. Briefly, in your opinion, based on your experience, have people always wanted to stay home but couldn't? Are they more able to stay home now because of technology, or is it the mindset of staying home as opposed to going into a nursing home when it seemed that that was pretty much what everybody thought was going to happen? Yeah, that's a great question. I'd say it has been uh, a mind shift um, over the last, I'd say, 20 years in this country. People feel more comfortable Uh, staying in their home. Also, to your point, technology has really enabled uh, people to stay in their home longer. And with some of the tools that HHA Exchange uh, provides to home care agencies and to caregivers in the specific, they have more visibility of what's going on in the home. So uh, it's easier for outside organizations to, I'd say, get alerts um, and, uh, I'd say, collect observational data in the home. Things like Um, Is there enough food in the home? Does the heater work in the home? Uh, Are the rugs loose in the home that might ultimately cause a fall in the home? So all all that type of information now is more easily collected. That really is enabling just uh, millions of people to stay in their homes longer than, say, they were even 20 or 30 years ago. You know, we're hearing about this era of the great resignation. Everyone's leaving their jobs for this, that, or the other, changing careers for this reason, that reason, or the other. Is that the deal? I mean, are people leaving this industry, or is it just not enough people are getting into the industry because it's relatively, you know, new in the last 20 or so years? Yeah, I would say that... um you know, because of the uh, growing demand for home care, which we just spoke about, um, there is a shortage of caregivers for sure. Um, and uh, I'd say that uh, if you think out over kind of the next uh, eight or nine years, um, you know, we estimate that we'll need to fill seven to eight million job openings uh, just for caregivers. Um, and that'll be through a combination of just more Uh, caregivers that are needed, um, as well as caregivers that will seek different types of employment. Um, You know, this is, uh, in in many cases, in many cases, a minimum wage oriented type profession or or slightly better. So there's a lot of uh, alternatives that caregivers have in the field. And it's uh, really important that the uh, home care agencies that employ them, um, you know, train them, and empower them with uh, technology and capabilities that make those caregivers want to stay in the the, the profession of home care services. So 
um, you know, we're, we're constantly uh, looking for ways to uh, improve our technology so that caregivers can uh, learn right from their, their smartphone uh, different types of uh, information or, or gain type uh, additional types of information that they may need in order to do their job. And ultimately, I'd say, Neil, it's about making the uh, caregivers feel empowered to do their job and to make them feel that, um, you know, it's, it's an enrichment type uh, profession mm -hmm. for them. And, uh, you know, for those caregivers that are, uh, I'd say, compassionate, um, and committed to this industry, they can be in this industry for decades and have a very rewarding career. Um, you know, COVID, I would say, shined a bright light on how important uh, caregiver services are to the healthcare profession. And uh, it made everyone realize more than ever that they are a vital part of the healthcare ecosystem. I heard lots of great retention strategies, um, making them feel empowered, giving them the tools that they need to, to do their jobs, uh, giving them the information, the technology and so forth. But what about uh, recruitment strategies? I understand that the pandemic, as you said, shined a light on the great need, but you know, what are some strategies to get people interested in the industry to join in the industry and then retain them? Yeah, I'd say, you know, what comes right to the top of the list is training, because the more you invest in training, the less turnover you'll have uh, in the industry and the more the caregivers will feel empowered to do their jobs. Um, you know, in the height of the pandemic, I'd say caregivers as a whole uh, felt more empowered than they ever did uh, in this industry because everyone realized how important their role was uh, in the healthcare system. So empowering caregivers with uh, training, with additional technologies uh, in order for them, say, to collect more information when they're in the home, to kind of be the eyes uh, in the home for the agencies and for family members and for payers uh, to understand what uh, changes might need to be made in the home to keep the client safe, um, healthy, and, and satisfied. Um, so I, I'd say those are some key strategies to keeping caregivers um, very motivated. Um, but I tell you, there, there are things that are happening also in the industry that I see agencies doing mm -hmm. in order to retain caregivers. Um, they're providing them with incentives, uh, rewards based on, I'd say, their timeliness to visit the homes um, and, uh, you know, issuing other types of incentives and rewards, if you will, in order to keep them, uh, motivated, um, and, uh, and keep them from leaving the employment of that agency. Give us a website where we can learn more. Yeah. I mean, the best website is, is our website, which is www.hhaexchange.com. Well, I appreciate you uh, lending us some of your time this morning, Greg. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Hopefully you'll return. Absolutely. Right. Enjoyed it, Neil. Thank right. you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Greg Strobel, CEO of HHA Exchange. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download a SoundCloud, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio. Thank you.